Hello everyone, it's Kat and I'm back today to show you some Project Pan looks. So uh, last month I introduced my new Project Pan for 2024 and I've been spending the last month sort of figuring out how I like my products. Um, I did do an update with my base products. The base products that I introduced originally I didn't like. So I'm sort of figuring out if this group of products really works for me. And I was gonna do a sort of get ready with me showing you how I use the products. But to be honest, I find them really tedious and annoying to edit and I know some people don't like to watch them all. So I thought instead I'm just going to sort of check in every few days when I create a look that I particularly like. I realize there's sort of two looks that I've been creating quite a lot with my Project Pan products. So I thought I would show you the first one. Um, what I like to do is go sort of more of a bold berry look and a very, very subtle shimmery eye. I am using my typical base products. So the Flower Beauty Foundation, uh, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and my Nikki a joy powder so that is sort of a constant because they're my my base products sometimes i'll be using a hydrating bobby brown primer underneath today i'm not um, but the main thing that is the noticeable element of my look is actually this hourglass uh lipstick so this is the shade i can't live without it's this berry shade it's not a shade that i wear too often to be honest i am a bright red lip person so if i'm going to wear sort of a berry it's going to be like a bright raspberry or a bright strawberry or something it's not going to be sort of a muted one so i've been playing around figuring out how to make this work now what i've done today and what i've done a few times is actually put it on quite heavily and then what i do which is interesting is i'll rub it in like this which is what i've done and then the excess that i've got on my finger i will dab on my cheeks which is what i've done here so you can see it is a little bit of a patchy way to apply a blush, but I just think that sort of berry cheek is really pretty. Uh, one thing I do that I haven't done on this side yet, I'm gonna zoom in and show you. So you might notice that this one has a lot more of a shine. It just looks a little bit smoother. This one, that shine is just the lipstick or my skincare. Um, but what I actually like to do is take my highlighter, which is my Nabla highlighter in the shade Ozone, uh, and I just like to sort of lighten it a little bit with this. So I've gone quite heavy handed. It's quite bold. But then you sort of just put this shine over the top and it just, if there's any sort of patchiness because you're applying a pigmented lipstick on your cheek, it sort of evens it out and it sort of mutes it down a little bit and gives a bit of a glow. So yeah, okay, when I'm in the shadow, cool. It is a bit wine still but it has this beautiful sort of glass like finish so that's sort of how i've been using that berry lipstick and the way i've been pairing it generally is i find with a really soft shimmery eyeshadow i just feel like it's quite cool toned overall so this um nars eyeshadow so i've been panning my nars duo and the shade earth shine um i'm gonna show you something i hit pan on it today when i was doing this what so i don't know if you can see it's very there we go. The pan is minute, but it is there. So all I tend to do is get a big sort of fluffy brush and just sweep it all over the lid. And it gives this really beautiful sort of easy um, shimmery look. And I don't even use it over a primer. It does crease throughout the day, but because it's such a light shade, all I do is sort of just rub my crease and it sort of disappears. Now this does have this um, sort of matte brown with it i kind of like the whole shimmer thing going on um and the reason why i'm not wearing primer with it is the primer that i'm panning is actually a sort of caramel brown similar to this and the issue that i've had is that that medium brown i actually don't think re works really well with this eyeshadow i find when i put that on and then this on top that sort of really just sheeny beautiful ethereal look it sort of gets spoiled over a, a darker base for some reason. So I actually just like using this on its own. So this is one of the looks. It's more of like a snow white look where it's quite cool toned, um, you know, sort of blotted lip, blotted sort of berry cheeks and a, quite a lot of shine. Um, I'm definitely sort of minimizing the eyes. There's no liner, it's just mascara. So this is the first look I've been sort of going for quite a lot with my Project Pan um, products, but let's cut to another one. 
Okay, this is the other sort of look that I tend to go for uh, when it comes to my Project Pan makeup. And you can see this is the all matte eye instead of the all shimmer eye. So the main focus of this look is the eyes and I sort of go, I, I make the winged liner a bit of a point of interest. Now the pencil I'm using, the one that I'm uh, panning is actually the Huda Beauty. This is the Life Liner in Very Vanta. It's a liquid liner on one end. Uh, which you use to obviously do the liner and then what I tend to do with the pencil end is go in and I tight line when I'm making the eyeliner the statement I feel like that sort of fleshy rim doesn't really suit so uh, that's how I tend to use that now what's on my eyes is look you can do this look just with this primer so this is my NARS um, it's a NARS tinted eyeshadow primer I'll have the name in the description box because I Obviously I've depotted it, um, but this can be used as just like a cream eyeshadow. You can blend it out, it lasts all day. But because I am trying to pan a matte eyeshadow as well, um, I sort of lay that over the top. So this one here, and you can see I've just hit pan on it today. So I'm very, very excited. So I've got three Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim lipsticks and <laughs> they all sort of look similar. Um, so I just grab whichever one. Now, I think the one that I like the most is the one in the shade You Are My because it is more nude for me. So it's a bit more cool toned. Um, it's that one there. But I think the one I'm wearing today is I Woke Up, which is slightly more lighter, slightly pinkier. Um, and again, they're sort of interchangeable. So I just pick whichever one. The one I like the least, um, I've been trying to use it, is the shade If Only. And it looks like this, it's a lot more pink. So it's a little bit more jarring. I actually tend to use this a little bit on the cheeks. This is the example of my five minute makeup that I do often before I start work. Um, it's the kind of work meeting, uh, work from home sort of, I look awake, I look healthy, I look put together. I will actually put a, a screenshot of what it looks like on my work meeting. But I literally did this in five minutes. All I did was I used my concealer under my eyes. I just dotted around my face, blended out with a sponge. This is not the most long wearing because I need to set it with a powder, which I didn't do. Um, I put my blush on. So just a bit of color in the cheeks. Um, I used a bit of brow pencil just to sort of uh, tidy up my brows, not to fill them in completely, not to set them, just to sort of do little like little, just bring them forward a little bit. Um, then I used my NARS eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. You can see how much I'm using it. This is beautiful because it's got that translucent base. So it's very, very easy just to throw on for a bit of brightness. And that's all it is. There's no base to it. There's no primer. There's no nothing. Um, mascara, this one I'm not loving so much. I'm finding that it can transfer under the eyes at the end of the day. When I wash my makeup, I find that it's sort of, um, I get the panda eyes underneath, which I never usually get. And then I've just put my lip oil on my Burt's Bees lip oil. So that is my five minute face. I literally had my first meeting at quarter past 10 and I sat at my table to put my makeup on at, I think it was 10, 11. So I did this in four minutes. <laughs> so that's an example of how um, I can use sort of my project pan stuff on a really quick um, sort of just enhancing way um, and it, it it works I like it so there we go I might leave that there so obviously I can go really pared down I can build it up a little bit more dramatic um, and there is some variation but all the products tend to work really well together so I'm liking my project pen this year all right hopefully that was helpful if you want to see more of these sort of multi look how I wear certain products uh, let me know um, but otherwise check out my project pan update uh, in the description box bye